Ang video na to ay handog ni cdkoffers.com. Marami kang mahahanap na iba't ibang uri ng software dito. May games, apps, activation codes for Windows 10. Check out our video on CDK Offers in the video description. Mabilis, mura, and syempre legit dito. Madali lang mag-order, search for the software you need, add to cart, check out, daan ka sa payment options nila, wala pa isang minuto, finished. May legit working CDK ka na sa software na pinili mo. Gamitin ang aming promo code para makakuha pa ng extra 20% discount sa purchase mo. Kung naghanap ka ng mura, legit, and original software, check out cdkoffers.com. Hello guys, welcome and <laughs> Yon. welcome here to join us at Hardware. <laughs> Buti na lang Danny and John jumped in. Yon. What's up internet? Uh, first snafu of the night, my mic was off but now it's on. Um, yun, and thanks so much for Danny and John for joining us on tonight's In the Industry. Um, they're the founders of Yang Yang Mobile. Who, they're a local game developer and they have three games na under their belt and uh, all of them are available on Steam. Yun, so first things first, uh, just give us a brief rundown. Like, how many are you guys in Yang Yang? Uh, how did you start? Um, yun. Okay. So, how many of us sa Yang Yang, including John and I, mga around 17 tayo, no? 16 to 17. Probably. Yeah. And we started Yang Yang Mobile. Actually, kami dalawa ni John are like graduates ng game design and development sa Binil. So, mm. that's how, uh, how we got into game development. And then, yeah, we graduated, we, you know, we worked for Gameloft and Gumi, and then afterwards, we decided na, hmm, maybe it's time to, you know, to take the plunge and start our own company. So, young pa kami nun, so kahit na isip namin kahit na <laughs> fail, okay lang, kasi we have a lot of, you know, years pa left to pick up the pieces. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So... It was really kind of a, ano, a parang shot in the dark, kumbaga. I mean, let, let's try, try it lang. Parang adventure na lang. I mean, let, let's see how it goes. Yeah, because at that time, we, we were like seeing like, you know, indie game studios' fail rate are massively mm -hmm. high as well, yeah. right? Like, like, yeah, most of the studio that started closes down. And mm -hmm. even even that, that some that's, you know, a little bit more established, that's been around for like five years or more, still have a, you know, like close down, you know, yeah, some yeah. of them have to close down as well. So how, you guys were classmates in college, in Benil? Yes, for yeah, block, block like, mates, yeah, we're, we're, we're yeah. block, block block mates. mates. How long did you guys work for another studio before deciding na to take the plunge? Um, so I think we worked at GameLock around seven months. So uh, until, you know, they decided to parang shut down the game development you know, department ah. nila doon. Uh -oh. Yeah, so we were there for seven months. And then for Gumi, mang kanta ka talaga sa Gumi? We, I think we stayed there for around a year as well. Yeah, me and John. Um, nung college pa lang kami kasi, yung parang yung end goal na talaga namin is like to start our own company. So eventually, balak talaga namin mag-start ng own company namin. Pero ayun nga, since I got pregnant sa first child namin, which, her name nyo pala is Yang Yang, so doon namin ah, okay. yung Yang Yang mobile. <laughs> okay. So since I got pregnant with Yang Yang, uh, parang we decided to like, parang i-fast forward na namin yung plan namin. Kasi being new parents, gusto din kasi namin may control kami sa sarili namin time. Uh, yeah. And we want to be there, you know, watch her grow up. Pero kapag kasi full-time employees kami, medyo mas mahirap yun. Uh, uh, so, uh, you know, naging suicidal kami. Let's, you know, become new new parents and at the same and time. And at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, you you had your, you, kumbaga, you had two different babies. You're, I mean, your your yeah, your first yeah. baby and, and the company. Um, so exactly. how, many, how, how many are you guys now? Like artists and um, coders, developers. How many people are under Yang Yang? Um, how many artists do we have right now? I think we have three artists right now. Four. Four. Yeah, we have four artists. Oh yeah, four artists. We have um, three programmers. Three programmers. Uh, tatlong admin. Uh, me, John, yeah. and isa pa admin office stuff. manager. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, isang QA and then the rest writers na. So yeah, I think we have, have four to five writers. Big yeah. team of writers. Wow. Two, three, four, five, five yeah. writers. Yeah. It uh, so actually, the, the writers, it, it just in terms of number, six writers, six, that, yeah. six writers compared to like four artists, and then of course the the over, you know, parang the overall uh, control management. Dami pa ng writers, ah. Yeah, yung mga games kasi namin, we focus talaga na, na narrative heavy talaga kasi siya. So, we're uh -huh. investing a lot of the writing namin. Kasi, uh, pakinam 
pakiramdam namin, sila yung isa sa mga pinaka nagdadala sa games namin. Ah, uh, yeah. are all the writers local, like here sa Philippines? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I was uh, looking kasi through the credits of uh, Perfect Love, which is your latest game. Sorry, did... Uh, Perfect Gold, sorry, Perfect, Perfect Gold, Gold. Yeah. which uh, which went gold last month, last April, so it's out now. And then some of the writers, like Sar Esteban was the senior writer, I think, and then Vesper Fox was yeah. parang... They're, the so they're all uh, Filipinos, they're all based here, sa atin. Yes, yes. Ah, wow, wow, okay. So, so if you see the, see the um, credits, um, mm-hmm. I think there's just like two or three writers. So that's kind of like a spoiler that most of our people are working on other stuff. On other projects, <laughs> okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I did want to touch on that, um, like what the next project would be, but we'll get to that like, uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. Do you hire mostly, um, how, like how do you hire, how do you find people to 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 hire um is it word of mouth or like you also because you're both from benil um I'm, i'm sure you're familiar with alumni there and stuff do you bank on like your benil connection or how do you find people to hire so initially um when we started young young mobile mostly facebook lang kami and then we just you know parang mag post na kami sa young young mobile page and then nag-request na kami sa mga friends namin na po-share naman to sa mga you know <laughs> so, so mga walls nyo or kaya sa mga groups na alam nyo that's oh. related to game dev yeah And then after that, when we had a lot of funding, we actually, you know, po- start posting na on Job Street. Yeah. yeah. So oh, okay. I think um, in our experience, we would say that word of mouth really gets the uh, gets uh, a huge chunk of the employees mm-hmm. because yeah. um, yeah, in, instead of a job post that will invite a lot of um. People that might not be that qualified mm-hmm. in word of mouth, because they like they already know that you know they're they're probably suitable for the job. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They refer. Ah, okay. Um, speaking actually of funding, I've noticed you you're on Kickstarter, you're also on Patreon. In your experience, mm-hmm. like, what's the most effective way to kind of bootstrap your game? Um, which platform or which method? Okay, so um, iba kasi yung purpose ng ng, ng Kickstarter versus sa Patreon. Yung Patreon more like parang um, every month kasi every month kasi kami nagkakaroon ng money from that. So we get much, much diba? less. Uh-huh. Yeah, compared sa Kickstarter. Yung Kickstarter parang isang buong parang big chunk of injection. <laughs> isang bagsak. Uh-huh. Yeah, isang bagsak compared sa Patreon na nagsitrickle down every month. So they help a lot sa you know, pag-start ng game namin. Pero So the letter yung nakatulong talaga sa amin doon. First game kasi namin si the letter. So wala pa kami sales from previous games. So yung ano yung ginamit yung isa sa pinakamalaking ginamit namin doon is yung funding from the Kickstarter. And then we also did outsourcing jobs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah we also that. doing yeah. outsourcing job. Um yeah, and aside from that we burned all our savings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pero after nung after ng kickstart na kickstart nung the letter for Love Esquire, uh, it's a mix na of din na Patreon and the sales from the letter, chaka kickstarter. Yeah. You know, uh, you mentioned uh, outsourcing. Um, mm-hmm. I-, I know a lot of local studios. They kind of like take on outsourcing work from abroad. So yung tipong mm-hmm. they, you uh, other games need art assets or something. Um, is that something you guys also do like as a sideline while doing your main games or? You're exclusively focused on your on your games. Yeah. So before we actually do a lot of it, like a lot of it. Yeah. Um, to keep our yeah, studio, keep our studio <laughs> up because yeah. we haven't have any income yet in mm-hmm. terms of uh, our own games. Mm-hmm. Um. But then as uh, as time progresses on, I think right now at this moment we're just supporting very few, um, like old clients, either old clients that that still need some help or like um. Or like uh, just some friends that need some help, and we just have yeah. an additional resource to yeah. kind of like lend out. Ah, uh, but so it's not. Yeah, it's not our main 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 line of yeah. business. Focus yeah. Focus on the original IPs. And so, like, you have three games: the letter, love, Esquire, and the uh, perfect gold. And I notice they usually come two years apart. So, 2017 for the letter, 2019, then last month, 2021 for. for uh, perfect perfect gold. Ah, uh, nang lang ba talaga yun? Um that it it's usually a two year development process or do you are you sort of want to ramp up or speed up production or two years is okay na? Medyo hindi siya ko 
coincidence, marami lang talaga kaming delays. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a lot of delays. Yeah. So, like, ano, normally, like, yung sa the letter, gusto namin in a year, ma-release na siya, but hindi, na-delay siya to two years. Tapos kay Love Square, ano yun, like, 1.5 years, pero na-delay na naman sa two years. So, yeah, ano siya, mostly dahil sa delay. Yeah, I would say, uh, poor planning definitely yeah. play a big part on it. <laughs> but... Yeah, I think um, moving forward, I think we're slowly trying to plan better. Mm -hmm. um, but I think um, we will still be making bigger games in the future. Mm -hmm. So it's going to take if not as long, much longer than, 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 than the... Um, like, without having to go into detail, what are like some of the things you learned? Like, dun nga, you mentioned na lack of planning. Is it... Is it like a situation na, oy, one asset is done but the other asset isn't done so parang you can't get everything together or um, you're waiting on specific people like, oh, hindi pa tapos na tong segment na to but the art isn't ready for the next segment. Like, um, like just in terms of planning, um, what mm -hmm. what lessons have you learned after three games? Yeah, so, um, it's uh, dun sa, um, well, marami kami causes of delay. Yeah, pero, it's, <laughs> <laughs> pero it's a uh, uh, naging cause namin ng delay is we really put emphasis talaga dun sa stories ng games namin. Mm -hmm. So we spend a lot when it comes to our writing. So kapag sinabi ng writers namin na eh, hindi po siya maganda, hindi po siya ready, we extend. Yeah, like, so, uh, we want, let's yeah. say, they say, we want an additional month mm -hmm. for editing. Mm -hmm. um, uh -oh. Then we're gonna add the additional month. So yeah. actually our writing is the one that's uh, mostly bottlenecked, I would mm -hmm. say, in a way that we'd have to wait until the writing is mostly done mm -hmm. um, for the script to be sent out to voice actors, for the script to be sent out to parang yung director type namin, which is like directing what's gonna happen on screen mm -hmm. based on the script. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, th those processes take a long time as well. Um, but we'd have to wait um, for, the, for the writing process mm -hmm. to finish. Yeah. So First. moving forward, what we're trying to do is parang pinapasimula na namin kaagad yung writing bago pumasok ng iba pang mga departments. Para in the event na pumasok na si art team, like, ano na, uh, marami nang natapos sa writing side. Hindi na, na, na mababawasan yung bottleneck. Yeah. Um, you guys mentioned the, the voice acting. And parang I was going out through the voice actors that you've gotten. So sobrang yun yung mga big time. Parang they worked on other games they worked on triple a games um they worked mm -hmm. on other anime so how how did you how did you put that team that voice acting team together uh how did you get those talents mm -hmm. yeah there's a there's a big story <laughs> behind yeah. that danny do you want to tell it okay so I, i'll just summarize so basically during the letter parang you know siniraan kami ng isang voice actress wow so, <laughs> Grabe, yeah, so, yeah so i that, that's like a very unpleasant memory. <laughs> Ayaw ko matandaan. Pero yun, basta basically sinaraan kami isang voice actor. So, yung voice act, uh, yung voice director namin, si Amberly Connors, approached us and said that, you know, that, you know, she's on our side and she's willing to, you know, uh, handle all our voice acting needs. So, it started from there. Kasi si Amber meron siyang meron siyang malaking network of voice actors kasi voice actress din siya herself and she has a studio in the United States. So every time na may new game kami, we just send her the details of our characters and then she gets back to us with, you know, a list of auditions from different actors to recommend you for the role. Ah, wow! So, definitely, we are recommending her. So Amber Lee Connor, just look her up. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> if, you, if anybody out there needs voice talent, oh, Amber, Amber, Amber can hook you up. Ang galing. So it was, it was really um, that one contact. Um, and then from there, yun nga, you guys are... Uh, uh, you guys were able to access that pool. Because I was looking at it, like one guy worked on Dragon Age Inquisition, one of the ladies worked uh, on Dragon Ball, and things like that. So, brang, and even if you watch the cinematics, like the ones that you have available on YouTube, you mo trailers niyo, alam mo na professional eh. yeah. Parang ang galing nung voice acting. Um, yeah. So just 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 that one contact um, was the one that made it happen. Yeah, yeah, most yeah. of our, our voice actors in our game are mm -hmm. are, are from uh, Amber. from Amber's contact. Yeah. Uh, we do have some others though. I think um, yeah. that that auditions directly with us. Yeah, so normally so like so Love is Square and so the letter parang nagpo open audition kami. Mm -hmm. So basically parang free for all shop. But for the big times, I think it's mostly yeah for Amber. for the big times. Mo bigatin kay Amber talaga yun. You won't get auditions from big times. <laughs> it's not for her. Yeah. 
Uh, do you have any local, like, do you have any local talent for the voice acting? Um, local so far, wala. Although yung nag-bosses dun sa um, isang character namin sa Perfect Gold, si Marion, isa sa main character, I think she's half Filipina. So, yun lang yung alam kong uh, uh, malapit sa local so far. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think we tried, um, mm-hmm. but uh, we, we tried finding um, some uh, sometime before, mm-hmm. um, but it just didn't work out as um, as we hoped. Um, yeah. Ah. Uh, um. So yeah, well, let's touch a little bit on the local scene. Um, is it because the voice talents here aren't as uh, organized? I mean, because in the states, they it's like a big business. So and. Um, the the actors become associated with their characters, like you're playing Mass Effect, diba? parang you, Shepherd Shepherd's voice and Fem Shep's voice, parang sumitika tima voice actors or like the Overwatch characters and then the the voice actors that play them. So there's like really, I mean, diba? parang uh, it's a very established profession. Um, it's a problem here na medyo di pa ganun ka professional or um, how did you find it like trying to look here and then you couldn't find anybody. Um, so we actually um, got in contact with some contact persons, um, mm-hmm. but um, I guess uh, at the end it's a business decision be- between like uh, the, the 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 summary of costings mm-hmm. and ah. um, yeah, just like overall um, how much the writing team and the directing team like the talent. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, did you ever have a situation like basically you guys are the top management? Uh, and then, like, a writer comes to you or a director comes to you and they'll say, like, you know, I really want to do this in the game. But you're like, eh, I don't think it works or parang ang weird or ano. <laughs> yeah. um, did you did you ever have to push back and say, na, no, no, we, we really can't do that or I don't think that's a good idea? Yeah, so very, you know, very heavily relies on teamwork talaga like, game development. Mm-hmm. So usually kapag may mga big decisions, like it's a team, it's a team decision. Hindi lang kami ni John yung nagde-decide noon. So may mga times na kapag may gusto silang feature, sinasabi namin, oh, parang hindi yata kaya ng budget yan or hindi kakayanin sa timeline. And at the same time, ganun din sila sa amin. Like kapag may ano may request kami na, pwede mang ganito yung maging direction ng story. Tapos sasabihin, sasabihin ng mga writer sa amin, hindi pwede kasi like masasacrifice yung integrity so you know it's a mutual you know back and forth yeah, thing, yeah. i wouldn't say that you know it's always like that mm-hmm. i think misunderstandings do happen mm-hmm. which is uh it, it's unfortunate sometimes but mm-hmm. yeah just have to kind of like mm-hmm. communicate through it uh, so it really is like a team i mean of course it's a very collaborative effort it, it's very rare mm-hmm. that you have a top-down decision uh Okay, we're gonna go do this. That's bawal ang mga la. I mean, that, that's the that's the way we're going. Sobrang sobrang dihira nun. Yes, once we started on a game, um, siguro yung mga times lang na ganon is like kapag nag sit nagkakam up lang kami ni John ng ng next game. Kasi usually kami ni John yung nagde decide nyo, like kung anong genre. And then um, once we selected on a genre, like sabi namin, okay, gusto namin ng horror. And then we leave it up na to the team kung ano kung anong classing horror yung gusto na, nila para magpitch na sila sa amin and then from there it's a very collaborative effort na. Na parang madalas nagpa uh, uh, madalas yung tactic namin nagpapo-votation kami like oh guys sino yung pabor sa ganito tapos sino yung pabor sa ganito yeah, parang ganun. Uh kamusta yung the gaming industry is infamous for having yung crunch time like parating ng parating na sa goal and then even like uh, we've been talking about it Sobrang sakit sa ulo yung um, mm-hmm. managing the time and you know having to have making sure everything is carefully planned out. Mm-hmm. So when you have that deadline, yung for let's say for perfect good, oi ano release natin April. Siguro by March dapat tapos na yan, or, or some point before April, de ba? Um, did you also experience that kind of rush to to get it out and then yung yung crunch time na 22 hour days, hindi na wala na matutulog, parang ganun. Um, like oh, yeah, I'll add something on that. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I think um, crunch times are not healthy. Mm-hmm. Um, we, we, we try our best to avoid it, but I think um, for our end, it still happens. It still happens in a way that um, that people have to work harder, definitely, kapag malapit na sa lunch. Mm-hmm. But I would say that uh, we're, we're doing very well compared to a lot of other studios that we know mm-hmm. in such a way that um yeah we we 
we very heavily um, promote work-life balance. Mm -hmm. So I would say that in our past few games, we probably have a, a like, like uh, in our crunch time is a little bit different. I think uh, I would define our crunch time as um as just like a month or two that you have to work seriously. A, a little harder. Because normally we just move around. Like yeah, everybody just move yeah. around. You know, oh. maybe yeah, maybe like put in five yeah. R in a eight hour work day kind of yeah. thing. Um, so most of our crunch time is just um doing more serious work yeah. for a work day. <laughs> So probably around eight hours. Sometimes we do um some 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 unexpected stuffs do appear, and uh, there might be some people that have to overtime for like an hour or two mm -hmm. for like a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. That do happens, and maybe when the game is actually launching, like mm -hmm. you know the last few days, we might get some quick touch in. Mm -hmm. Then you know there is people that might work a longer hour um like maybe even a double shift but only for you know probably like the last few days like yeah, two yeah. three days yeah. before the you know game goes out for a for a day one patch yeah. so i uh, definitely compare dun sa norm ng ano ng, ng game industry when it comes to crunch time like parang child's play lang yung sayang yung mo kasi <laughs> sobrang minimal lang kami magpa-crunch uh -huh. kasi kahit kami ni Jan ayaw namin nagpa-crunch uh -huh. so, tamad kami pareho ayaw din namin <laughs> wag kang mga 20 or 20 22 hour days wag, wag ganyan yeah, yeah yes kasi so, yeah. The, no no not the, encouraging or anything. yeah not, not not in yang yeah yes it's also kind of nice that you named your daughter. I mean, your do, uh, your your daughter, your daughter, no, um, your your first, yes. yeah. And then the studio is the same. So, parang, I guess the kind of values that you want to inculcate in the studio, you also kind of want to share for your daughter. I mean, you also don't want her to have a boss that demands twenty-two hour days, de ba? Or parang crunch time like yeah. that. I mean, it's it's a it's a nice connection to have. Mm -hmm. Um, um, actually, I do have some like just prepared question should we um sige. um the, the especially for love Esquire, i love the marketing of the game it's very tongue-in-cheek kind of you know wink wink kind of eh, uh, and, that, and that's the game i mean you have the uh you, what, one of the trailers is titled na, i thought this game was about boobs and get good yeah. get played diba? Parang gano. it's very like a um it, it's like a fun game you, you can feel the vibe of the game na, um you know it, it doesn't take itself too seriously um but for the like for the content of the game did you guys really like because i would describe it as naughty but not explicit did you guys really draw the line that uh, um we're not going to have like you know full-on you know sex scenes in the game or i, I read the polygon um article and i'm getting but you guys had a polygon article um you know written about you guys um and then you know it was saying that uh, well the devs did that because they didn't want to run a foul of philippine law um, was that really the reason, or was that more of an internal thing? Na ang hirap kasi if it's a sex game, de ba? Then there are a lot of connotations, mm -hmm. and maybe people have the wrong yeah. idea about it. Um, so was it was it because of an external thing, like because of a platform issue, like Steam or the Philippine or Philippine laws, or was it more of an internal thing um, that made you decide? Um, na, ano? So I think that's you know a combination of a lot of factors, mm -hmm. right? You mentioned the Philippine law. I mean, yeah, there is a law in the yeah. Philippines that says none of, none of those. Yeah. So, but uh, I would say that it might be a little bit loosely in, uh, enforced. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, um, I think we want still wants to be on the safe side yeah. of that. Yeah. And aside from that, there's um, there's also a lot of restrictions since the platform. Mm -hmm. Like for example, Steam. If your content um, borders more on mature content, then your visibility will be so nerfed to yeah, oblivion. Yeah. Yeah, ah, yeah. okay. So there's there's a lot of um, issues, and we also cater to mobile platforms, mm -hmm. um, which is uh, yeah, it's impossible to get any mature content mm -hmm. into a mobile platform. Ah, so on Steam, actually, it's the the current um, policy. It's allowed now, but the visibility is so low. Like if you're full on explicit, yes. like if you're might as well not allow it. Kind of. Uh, thing. Basically, kapag kapag adult only yung game sa Steam, tapos uh -oh. hindi ka nakalog in, never siyang a appear. Kahit nasa front page ka, basta hindi ka nakalog in, hindi siya a appear don. Uh, so ganon ka hindi yung drop sa visibility niya. I guess you. I guess you really need to. Yeah, they want you to log in so you can say na yes, I'm. 50 years yeah, old or something. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ah, okay. Um, is that the same on itch? Um, does it have the same restrictions? Kung itch yung platform? 
each not the I know. Yeah, I think of, yeah. each is very very flexible. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. it's more like a Facebook of no, it's more flexible than Facebook. It's just like, <laughs> I'm just really anything goes. Okay, yeah, anything um, how how hard was it to get on Steam? Like, um, so did you have to submit like, yeah, we're a legit developer and we have this game? How hard was the process of getting on Steam? Uh-huh. So before sa the iba kasi yung process ng getting uh, on uh, ng games sa Steam sa panahon ni the letter compared sa ngayon. Yung sa the letter mm-hmm. before parang may Steam green light process sila wherein you submit your game to the Steam green light and then parang yung players yung magbo-vote if they want to see this game on sale sa Steam. Parang so, indie kapag, ano nila no? Oo. Yes, yeah, so kapag nakakuha ka ng mostly no doon, well hindi ka pwedeng magbenta sa Steam. <laughs> Pero right now, mas pinadali na ni Steam yung buhay. Uh, I think you just need to pay a fee. I just pay a fixed fee. I think ah. $99 mm-hmm. per game. Yeah. And then they're gonna list your game. I mean, of course, they're gonna check your game, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Basic. Uh, so, it's much easier now para pay to play. As long as you pay the yes, fee, much, you're kinda... Ah, uh, okay. Um, sorry. Just to get back on the... So, uh, we're actually off air now, but it keeps reconnecting, connecting. I'm just gonna, but I'm 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 recorded okay. naman, and then I'm, I'll just okay. release it as a video. Oh, nakakainis. Pero I'm super like learning a lot. Um, like I'm finding it super interesting. Just about again about the naughty versus explicit. I noticed that I love Esquire. Um, there is a mod that that unlocks the like kind of the the full on explicit scenes, and then mm-hmm. you guys as the developers, um, you're not. You don't like announce the man. I actually you do kind of announce it, but it's not officially supported um, by Yang Yang. Yes. Yes. Um. Yeah. So the mod is actually created by one of our um super patrons. Super mm-hmm. super patron. Yeah, yeah. and uh, and a good friend. Um. Mm-hmm. Um. He's from Spain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, he's really passionate about our games. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, we just uh, we just actually met him on Kickstarter for the letter before. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, and she's he's been very supportive. So um yeah, we we we, we um like he 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 like asked us if um we wanna do um like is it okay? Mm-hmm. And then we we kind of like help him to make uh, like we do have a lot of the um we do like um what do you call that the the modding feature for mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. love for love Esquire. We publish a lot of uh, um. Public document about it later on, mm-hmm. but she, he's the one that you know ki- kind of gets to test them and, mm-hmm. and stuff. He's the first one that gets the internal versions of the document. Uh, okay. Um, I think that's a. I actually thought that was a neat way to get around like whatever issues, whether it's like legal issues or censorship issues, because it, mm-hmm. it's it's a fan it's fan made, deba. Right? So the developer doesn't actually have. Uh, you know, you can always say that well, it's out out of our control, and you know things like mm-hmm. that. But at the same time, you you do put a spotlight on it. Now, oh, if you want that kind of content, there there's that mod for the game, so you can just enable it for Love Esquire. So I thought that was a neat way of resolving everybody's issues because you do. You, I I I I assume you do have players that that want that kind of content. Yeah. yeah. Yes, especially for the game, the kind of game that Love Square is. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Sige. If you had like unlimited budget and like no restrictions at all, what kind of game would you produce, or what kind of game would you put out? Like, in my parang the 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 game like with no restrictions, everything you you want and need uh, would be provided. Like, what game would you produce? Um, so I think uh, what our company direction is heading towards is very similar to what CD Projekt Red type of a company is doing. Mm-hmm. Um, like we we have like you know like very immersive story. We don't have the their budget to create like a super <laughs> yeah. beautiful um world. Mm-hmm. Um, to to uh, we don't also don't have the budget to engineer a lot of features around it. To go with it, mm-hmm. so I think that kind of a game is definitely something that you know we 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 are you know like we are head heading towards yeah. if we have um unlimited budget, <laughs> unlimited budget, yeah. yeah. But le- um more like an RPG or like this hybrid kind of thing, like what you did with Love Esquire, and it's like a visual novel mm-hmm. slash old mm-hmm. old school RPG, de ba? Parang may pagka Final Fantasy yung um, fight mm-hmm. mechanics and things like that. Um, so would you like lean towards an RPG or like 
RTS kung ano lang. Probably gonna be leaning toward some kind of uh, open world um story based kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. Open world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Open world pero narrative heavy pa din yeah. kasi uh, if it's yeah. uh, more fantasy then it's more sword and stuff. Mm-hmm. If it's more modern then it might be guns sometimes, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that kind. Um Yeah, I, yeah. You you mentioned it before. Now, when I was doing research, I was like, "Well, parang you guys really put story first, so that's especially." I was reading some of the comments and and the reviews on your games. You're like, "Wow, this this story touched me so much. It made me cry." I mean, you very emotional responses to the games. Mm-hmm. Um, did you are like how much? Do you usually give the writers free reign, or it's like okay, we have like this outline of a story in place, and then you guys fill it up, or or it's really collaborative, and it's like back and forth, like um everybody figuring out like um how to go about it. How, how's like the story writing process? Okay, so we usually give our writers free reign when it comes to our stories. You, if if anything, yung nire request lang namin ni John is kapag may genre. Uh, I yeah, think we genre. give them the genre, yeah. the scope. Yeah. Uh, and you know some maybe some stuffs that have relation to gameplay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Pero apart from those yeah. free reign na yung mga writers namin to be as creative yeah. and as emotional or kung paano mm-hmm. man nila gusto explain yung um, story. We might also give them some some structure, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say like we we need to have this many arcs, mm-hmm. exactly this many arcs. Yeah. For for them, kind of mm-hmm. like that. So those are a little bit related to gameplay, but in terms of the story, you know yeah, what happens. What itself, yeah. I mean, maybe sometimes we'll make a request. Uh, let's add in this trope of a character. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, aside from that, um, yeah, I think as uh, and uh, in the initial brainstorming process, um, we do kind of like um, my we we might kind of like approve a little bit, mm-hmm. like you know, is this kind of a main character? Does this kind of main character work? Does this fit yeah. the market? Kind mm-hmm. of like. But in terms of the story structure itself, like you know how the story flows, how the story outlines out, those are um, I would say all all the writing team. Mm-hmm. Uh, I noticed the engine you use is Unity, no? Um, yes. Was that also that's for Love Esquire and for uh, Perfect Gold? But um, was that also the same for the letter Unity then for yes. the letter? Yeah, Unity then for the letter. How hard is it? Sorry, let's let's get a little geeky. How hard is it to code um or to to create uh games in Unity? I mean, and, and you mentioned like you have four artists, and do you have two? Do you have just do you have one guy that just does the Unity engine? Um, so we have three programmers. Programmers. Yeah. So programmers deal with the stuff in the in the Unity engine. Um, three, not including me. Mm-hmm. So I also do programming mm-hmm. sometimes. But uh, just more need if 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 they need me uh, nowadays it's just if they need me I might go You'll jump or in. like you know if it's time to to release I'll be double checking some stuff but mm-hmm. that's mostly what I do mm-hmm. um but yeah we we kind of have like three and a half programmers mm-hmm. um how, <laughs> in terms of how hard is it to to do stuff I guess it's really easy to do stuff in Unity. What's hard is to organize it properly in a way that it's uh, it's easily scalable, it's easily reusable. Um, if you're gonna add something, it's not gonna you know take everybody's time yeah. all over and over again. So I think that's the challenge. Um, and uh, some additional features, um, like for example, we spend quite a lot of time to. To do um, 4K te- textures mm-hmm. that the user can also choose to kind of use a smaller texture depending on their device. So that's some just a small feature, but it takes as, actually quite mm-hmm. a lot of time to do. So those kind of stuff um, could be hard. But if you just want to make a game a simple one, you know, you don't really care too much about extending it, then I would say it's quite easy. <laughs> yeah. You say it's quite easy. I actually tried to monkey around a little bit, like way back when with the Unity engine. Like I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Parang like you have that orb, de ba? Then you have to move the orb to get the lighting. I mean, I think that's the basic. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like what is going? I have no idea what is going on. Um, oh, it's quite easy for a uh, game. For uh, yeah. <laughs> disclaimer. Yeah. yeah. For like if you have background and things like that. Yeah. Uh, How is the local development scene like? 
there are some prominent local studios here, but in fairness, parang you guys are the most visible in terms of original IP. Um, how, how like um, and I, I guess you guys would know more. Yeah, but come on, other studios. Like, what do they do? Are they also pushing out mm-hmm. games? And the super, the like the triple A game that uh, that comes to my mind for lo- for Philippine um, developers was the Anino, de ba? Parang parang Jablo, Jablo yes. Uh, game which is a couple of years Anito. ago. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um tagal na nila. Oh, di ba? Parang that's the last that's the last super like hyped up release na um I can think of. How, how are the other studios doing? Um so so it's it's funny that you asked this question. Mm-hmm. Um Danny actually just joined um the Game Developers Association <laughs> of the Philippines yeah. as their marketing board. So oh. this is just a right menu <laughs> for you to market the Philippine game development uh, industry. Yeah, so um, I think we have around like more than 60 plus game studios here in the Philippines. Pero hindi lang sila ganon karine or hindi sila ganon ka visible. Kasi majority of them are focused on outsourcing. Mm-hmm. So for example, uh, there's a studio called Secret Six, and they are actually you know helping create the 3D assets for big time games like Last of Us, Chaka Uncharted, and Tomb Raider. So yeah, um, I, I guess my jo yung buhay hindi kasi like you know making your own game. Sobrang hirap niya, like sobrang taas ng failure rate. Uh-oh. That's why konti lang dito sa Pilipinas yung nagtatangkang mag-indie or like mag-focus on create original IP. So karamihan talaga ng game companies dito, yung focus is yeah. outsourcing. I would say uh, most of the earnings um mm-hmm. yeah. in the in the game industry uh in local is from outsourcing. Yes. Um yeah. So there's uh, art outsourcing that's really big, mm-hmm. and uh, 3D art outsourcing. Yeah, 3D precise. art outsourcing yeah. to be precise, mm-hmm. and game support. Um, mm-hmm. As we are uh, one of the call centers of the world, mm-hmm. um, our game support outsourcing is really um, big as well. Yeah. Are you um, take just a rough estimate, like eighty percent maybe of um, the game games local game studios are geared towards supporting uh, foreign studios, 80%, 90%, just very um, roughly. So I think if we add in the game support people, mm-hmm. um, just in terms of raw Man- headcount, Man- yeah, Man- yeah, I think yeah. we're at uh, 95%. 95%. <laughs> kind of a yeah. uh, just a rough estimate. Yeah. 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 Pero yeah. yung iba naman sa um, yung iba kasi parang hybrid. So while they focus on outsourcing, they're also trying to make their own IP. So mm-hmm. yeah, may mga ah. companies na gano'n. Kind of like you guys yes. at the start. Yes. Opo. Yung mahirap kasi talaga. Like, oh. kapag magsasart ka ng isang studio na focus on creating your original game, sa halos yeah. impossible mo siya masusustain nang hindi ka kumukuha ng outsourcing work. Oo. Uh, how hard is it to get outsourcing work? Let's say, like, so I, w- I want to put up a studio and then, you know, you have talented people. Um, is it relatively easy na may nagaharap talaga, like, from abroad na, oh, you know, I have this triple A game, I need these assets. May nagahanap talaga and, and you know um, um yeah i think it yeah. will be fairly easy what's hard is to find the talents mm-hmm. i think um in even in the local companies especially in 3d art the art talent um need is very competitive like com- companies bid each other for you know good 3d artists um uh-huh. so um in terms of client i think Definitely, it's going to be, there's some difficulty. Mm-hmm. And uh, especially, uh, I would say that it's more difficult for us because we're a little bit introvert and we don't <laughs> really like to speak with other people. Mm-hmm. But for you know, actual companies with business development persons, mm-hmm. I, I would say that it's rather easy for them to find clients. Um, um, well, since we mentioned John and GDAP, kanina, so actually, GDAP is the Game Developers Association of the Philippines. So, mm-hmm. kapag yung company mo, member ng GDAP, um, normally kasi kapag may client sa ibang bansa, kay GDAP talaga lumalapit. Kasi sila yung uh, in the game industry. Uh, so sasabihin nila kay GDAP na, oh, we need, you know, we need outsourcing work for 3D yeah. art. And then GDAP will pass it on dun sa mga yeah. member companies niya. And uh, GDAP is also uh, affiliated with DTI. So mm-hmm. a lot of uh, other countries also ask DTI for help. Mm-hmm. DTI ask GDAP for help mm-hmm. and, you know, in return. Uh, okay. okay. So basically, that's like the main pipeline. Um, for, for incoming work, usually through GDAP. Yeah, there's that, and then there's conventions. There's a lot of local big studios, outsourcing studios, that join some um, conventions in other uh, countries. Um, for example, like uh, Korea's G-Star, Tokyo Game Show for uh, 
Tokyo and uh, GDC and yeah. you know some other conventions. Yeah. a lot of conventions around the world. Well, if there's no COVID, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And yeah. you know they, they do trade yeah. missions all over the place to find clients for the booth. Mm-hmm. In normal times, um, what 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 games do you guys like to play? Like when in your downtime, what what games do you usually play? Okay, so for me, um, ano talaga ako fan ako nung the games that we make. So visual novel, no visual novels yung binabasa ko. Um, anything narrative based, like you know, mga Telltale games and yeah, yeah. Ragnarok <laughs> online. Yeah, so like Ragnarok is like you know, uh, it's life. It's my forever game. <laughs> forever game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Up to now, ah, medyo to money Ragnarok. Ah. <laughs> yes, hindi hindi ako makaget over. <laughs> I don't think um, I will get over. Ever. Ever. Yeah, recently, <laughs> in playing Ragnarok, Ragnarok Origins, the mm-hmm. mobile version, yeah. uh, that's out in Korea. So mm-hmm. we're playing the Korean server. Uh, we just okay. stopped playing recently. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Three days ago, nung nabalik. Like three days ago. <laughs> yeah. Um, what about you, John? How Do you? Um, mm-hmm. So uh, I play a lot of different types of games. I would say that I'm I'm a little bit uh, too busy sometimes to play triple A games. Uh, although I enjoy a lot of different types of games. Aro, I play with Danny as well. When when he, he says, "Hey, let's play Aro," I'll go like, "Okay, let's <laughs> okay. do it." <laughs> um, but aside from that, uh, some mobile games I do play. I'm still playing Crash Royale from time to time. Mm-hmm. Um, right now I'm playing the Monster Hunter Rise on Switch. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I, I play a lot of uh, different types of games. Okay. Um, I mean, we've mentioned like you have you your company has a lot of original IPs. Have you ever considered uh, branching out like outside of the video game space? Like do an anime, do a manga? Because ang everybody. Like the the comments like when I posted like oh you know we're I'm gonna interview the young young founders and even now in the chat they're like oh ang ng art ganda ng story um and di ba I mean those things aren't unique to video games they could be they're in anime they're in manga they're in ano I mean uh they're uh, different mediums have you ever thought of um experimenting with a different medium um so we actually think of that mm-hmm. um. So one of the me um, a type of medium that we're seriously considering is uh board game and card game. So you know Danny has been experimenting oh, yeah. a lot card game. on yeah. that yeah. end. Uh-oh. So it's still game but yeah. physical game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So why did you say also board game? Yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Uh-huh. Um, we we also do consider the uh, other missions that me- mediums that you mentioned, mm-hmm. like you know anime, those kind of things. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it's uh, it all boils down to We don't think any of our IP are mature enough to be in that space because in that space you have to be, well, more popular. Yeah. Pero definitely, like you know, um, one of my you know goals talaga in life is to like create a mainstream game. So like parang mga Ace Attorney, kasi kapag ganon na kasi kasi games mo, the, all the following stuff is gonna follow away. Like yeah. Ace Attorney, kadaan ganon ako misa mm-hmm. din ng anime. Yeah, so, yeah. Just naturally gonna follow. Mm-hmm. So for us right now, yung focus lang mo talaga namin is to make a name for ourselves yeah. sa game industry. And then sa kanan yung iba. Yeah. 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 Because I think it will take a lot of funds to make a uh, 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 let's say an anime. Mm-hmm. Um and uh, yeah. yeah. We'd have to be more mature to be yeah. able to do that. He mentioned Ace Attorney or even like Pokemon. Diba? Parang the origins of Pokemon, they were like just mm-hmm. it, game developers talaga sila na medyo geeky and then but it just no rule, diba? I mean, dami ng merch ngayon, and dami ng ibang games na Pokemon. I mean, it it originated from just one game, but then yun nga, it just kind of yun nga, it, it kind of steamrolled and now yun nga, it, it, everything follows na as long as you have like the a, a large number behind you and things like that so then you have t-shirts and caps and then you have anime and you have movies and you have different kinds of games yes. so yeah as danny mentioned parang just need to get like the certain thresholds of popularity and then parang tuloy-tuloy na siya mm-hmm. um but here like love is in particular is uh quite popular i mean the the polygon article nga mentioned that it outsold rust and skyrim i mean very Triple A games. I mean, established games. So how how wild was that? Na when it was when your game, de right, on Steam, like you could see it on the top charts on Steam, and it was outselling like Skyrim, de right, Skyrim. Uh, uh, how did that feel? 
So I think medyo misinformation yeah, that's yung that's all that. False news. It's not outselling per se, pero like, I guess during the time kasi nung release nila. In that exact part, day? Yeah, yeah, that, that yeah, period. That's why I have outsold yeah. them. <laughs> Only on that day. No? <laughs> <laughs> But at least you're a day. <laughs> Yeah. On the release day. On yeah. the release day, we have okay. yeah. <laughs> But then after that, they're still there. We're like super far away. Yeah. It's, it's not the same caliber of it. Not anywhere close. <laughs> well, it's still true. Naman. It's just a snapshot on that day. Diba? Like, uh, on that, like for that 24-hour, 48-hour period, uh, no, Love Esquire naman was on top. <laughs> Yeah, that, that is true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> article talaga like, really? Wow. <laughs> in fairness, I mean, it, it's good press. I mean, uh, either way, it's a good publicity. So, um, you can't go wrong with that. Um, sige, I'll, 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 actually, there, I have a other questions, but I don't want to, parang nangyaya ko na it's kind of late na, and I don't want to keep you guys also, and we've been at it for like 45 minutes na. Um, and, hindi rin ganun ko conducive yung stream because it keeps cutting out but but I recorded it in full and then yun nga I'll just upload it as a video sir, with with um with the proper time annotations people can jump in and uh, I, I've had a, a super interesting time actually and you know who doesn't like talking about games diba? and parang the local industry <laughs> um, but I'll just, think, I'll just have one final question um, nga, I mentioned like the games your games are quite uh, heavily reviewed I mean They're always very positive on Steam and things like that. But um, has has there been one re- review or one comment that negative? Na hindi mo talaga makalimutan. Like just because hindi mo talaga makalimutan, like it's sobrang unfair or it's sobrang on point or like you read it and you're like, put put, de ba kayo? Siya na siya na sulat nito. I mean, de ba parang that that kind of gut reaction na there and you'll never forget that one review. Okay. So, Danny probably yeah. come well. Okay. Uh. <laughs> between the two of us kasi ako yung mas you know attached sa mga reviews talaga mas emotional when it comes to reviews so, and, and binabasa mo reviews. talaga like like you read all yeah. the reviews especially nung time with like the letter like she gets hurt yeah. 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 especially <laughs> nung time with the letter because the letter was our first game so uh-huh. maybe yun ang buong team uh-huh. so you know syempre kapag may nag negative review masakit talaga so I think for the letter hindi ko na matandaan eh pero like madami sa kanila na sinasabing like, you know, I'm, I'm boring down nito. So, parang for me, hindi nyo lang kasi mag-get through visual novels. Ka. Bakit ko bibili ng, nakalagay na nga sa title, horror visual novel, oh. tapos nagdareklamo kayong ang daming binabasa. So, I think yun yung, you know, isa sa mga tumatak sa akin. And then sa mobile, iba, iba pa yung sa mobile, na the letter din. Parang, ito mostly nakakatawa. Parang, sasabi nila, ang pangit-pangit daw ng game. Kasi bayad siya. Gusto nila dapat compete ni daw for free yung game. <laughs> yeah. So that's uh, that's a lot of comments yeah. in mobile. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, I think <laughs> I think there's a lot of um, misunderstanding around the visual novel. Like, mm-hmm. like because a lot of games nowadays are tagged as visual novel. Mm-hmm. But um, what we do is more of a, you know, a, We were closer to the type of a Japanese visual novel that there's just like a, a million words in yeah. the entire novel yeah. type of thing, <laughs> rather than the Western visual novels that are just like, well, they're story, they call that visual novel. Yeah. So it's a little bit of a difference in uh, in in culture yeah. kind of a thing, I would say. And, and expectations on the part of the gamer. Um, It's more. It's like the two words, right? Parang they think it's more visual, but yours is more novel, kumbaga. So... Yeah. There, there's a there, there's a mismatch of uh, expectations. Yes, mm-hmm. definitely. Yeah. Uh, um, and uh, I think um, we're 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 adapting mm-hmm. a lot, so we're trying to kind of like beef up the story and reduce the world word count mm-hmm. to make it make <laughs> it very acceptable for the mm-hmm. for the global audience as mm-hmm. well. Tapos we're trying to add in more gameplay din. Kasi yun din kasi yung reklamo nila na, you know, yeah. bakit daw puro basa lang, hindi naman video game to, libro to. So right now, sa mga future games namin, tina, tinatry namin na, you know, mas more on Love is Quire siya in such a way na malaki yung emphasis sa story, but at the same time, malaki din yung emphasis sa gameplay. Yeah, kasi a lot of people don't, I mean, it, it, it's a VN, di ba? So, it, by, by, by the genre itself, parang understood na na, Uh, this is the kind of gameplay that you have in mind. I mean, you, you pick dialogue options, parang ganyan. 
Kasi sa Lost Square ka, ang daming gameplay options that aren't usually in a VN eh. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I think that's where we're headed in mm-hmm. the future as a company. Um to just add more gameplay, story is still one of our biggest priority. Where we're trying to explore new ways to make the game fun as well for everyone to play. Okay. Sorry, I, I said last question, but I, I do actually have one, one yeah, last question. Okay. Um, okay. Like, this, was there any point during the entire run that you've had with Yang Yang, was there any point that you just wanted to say na, grabe na to, parang pagod na ako, or you know, there's just so much stress, so much, I know, that, that you just wanted to quit and, you know, parang start over or, or leave the industry entirely. Has there been at least one point that you just want to give it all up? Like, Adam, a lot of points. <laughs> a lot of points. Okay. But uh, there, there is one like a big point in our life. Um, I would say that's last year, no, at the height of pandemic, and mm-hmm. I would say that everybody's mental state is just uh very, very um stressed mm-hmm. and uh maybe even borderline depressed um mm-hmm. because of uh all the things that happens uh in the in the society nowadays, mm-hmm. and then you know people just aren't able to meet with each other mm-hmm. anymore yeah so yeah, yeah we we have uh we, we we have a like a long time where we are really down mm-hmm. in 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 terms of you know wanting, wanting to continue this or not mm-hmm. um but i guess um Oh, okay, yeah. Man. yeah, you came we're, out on the other we're, side. We're still in it, so yeah, that, means, yeah. that means we didn't quit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're young, young, still around. And yeah, your 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 latest baby just came out last month. Um, Perfect Gold available on Steam as well as your mm-hmm. other titles, uh, Love Esquire and The Letter. If there's one game that you would recommend, like um, a first time fan would play, would it be Love Esquire or? Yeah, Any? I guess it depends. Like, if they want more gameplay, definitely Love is Squire. Mm-hmm. Pero if they want, like, a pure visual novel, uh, it's either, you know, Perfect Gold kung they're into girls' love or kaya the letter kapag gusto nilang horror. Yeah. yeah, so it would depend on what they like. But, yeah, right now, I think we would still recommend... Um, I, I personally would still recommend Love is Squire a lot because mm-hmm. that's... Uh, that's the funnest one for me because it's like so fun like you know all the conversation is so fun there's a lot of gameplay mm-hmm. so we're actually um might uh might might re- <laughs> release the the actual version of Lapis Square mobile soon ah, probably, okay you know in a month or two mm-hmm. um we, we we are not committing to a date yet because you know uh yeah there's still a lot of stuff being fixed but uh, yeah, I think a lot of people can start play picking it up like really easily. It's gonna be it's gonna be free, free, free to play. Yeah, <laughs> what, what what they want? <laughs> yeah, what people what people want? Yeah, actually, yeah. I've seen. I, I went through the comment section and they're like, yeah, when is this coming out on Android? When is it coming out? Yung, there's a big uh, yeah, yeah. push for and like like year I didn't mean years but like weeks or months back the by and daming nag nagko comment it's a year back already yeah, <laughs> yeah it's a year back already um i think we've been focusing a lot on perfect gold for the past few months but right now um our number of priority is love square mobile yeah so yeah sorry we we, we do have a question from the chat I, I wanted to get more questions from the chat but because usually that's what we do but yeah it kept cutting out but parang ngayon stable na siya hindi ko talaga maintindihan paminsan but um uh, ITX Adi from YouTube asks, is there a game among your portfolio that you would recommend um, more appropriate for young adults? Or are they all kind of like medyo naughty, <laughs> yung games yeah. ninyo? So that will be Perfect Goal. Yeah, Perfect yeah. Goal is really, really designed for young adults. Yeah. It's, it's very heartfelt, very mm-hmm. wholesome, yeah. and uh, just enjoyable yeah. coming for of, young yeah, adults. Coming of yeah. age. Coming of age. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So perfect um, for young adults. Perfect Gold, which is their latest game, uh, which came out yeah last month. Okay, on that note, um, thanks so much for joining us. I, I had a really uh, fun time, to be honest. Uh, I'm well, I, I play games, and I've always been interested in the local industry. So, mm-hmm. and then you got your games uh, really stand out. And got the artwork and the art quality. Um, I, I, to be honest, I haven't played because so I can't comment on the story. But uh, I, I find it super impressive that you have six writers on the team. So, very narrative driven, mm-hmm. talaga. Um, yun, then, um, Danny mentioned Telltale, uh, another great um, company, and just just that DNA legacy, de Telltale Games, Lucas Arts Games, de ba yung mga narrative driven talaga na um, 
that kind of gets lost sometimes in the triple A games now that it's all like shooting or ano di ba parang mm-hmm. all about the graphics and things like that. But sometimes, uh, at least for me personally, I mean I don't talk about other gamers, but I really I really appreciate a good story and uh, it's it's nice to see a local game dev studio uh, focusing uh, on that. Then of course yeah, ganda ganda graphics, so parang you have the best of both worlds that I get. Yeah. So thank you for your you know kind words and yeah. you know as you mentioned you haven't played our games yet if visual novel is your thing <laughs> um you know sure uh, you can just tell Danny um yeah, you know can provide yeah, with the just, yeah. Danny can provide you with the I am super tempted but I'll just but it's okay I I don't know I'll, I'll charge it to hardware sugar <laughs> I'll, I'll say it's research <laughs> yeah. and uh, I just like to say thank you so much for you know for your praises to arts namin so our art team and basically just super everyone in our team are you know super Super talented, and they are very dedicated. And you know, without them, like you know, our games wouldn't be as wonderful as they are right now. They are. Uh, ang ganda, ang ganda ng artwork. I mean, it, it's really. You guys also what drew me to ask to interview you guys. It's like the art, the quality, and the art style, and also yung the voice acting. You, you get these voice mm-hmm. actors now done. Um, yung yah, yung nasa Dragon Age, ano Inquisition, things like that. Like wow, parang and then yung yah local, so yung galing. Um, we do have a comment from YouTube na si Jam. Um, I guess uh, suggesting a next game, um, game that will encourage someone to engage the outside world, like the anime Yuwa Mushi Pedal and Dumbbell Nan Kilo Maturu. Sorry, hindi ako ma- masyadong ma-anime. Okay, uh, so, na- I think familiar. that's, uh, that's an exercise game. Yeah, Yuwa yeah. Mushi Pedal lang ako. Yeah, Yuwa Mushi Pedal. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't even know. The, the yeah. dumbbell thing. Like, like, I, 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 I have no idea. Yeah. Of, uh, anime, yeah. <laughs> but but that, that's a suggestion from the chat. Um, but yun, so thanks thanks so much for joining us. Um, yun, stay, stay on the line, stay on Discord lang for a little bit uh, as I disengage the the stream. But yun, um, thanks to everyone for joining us. Sobrang Um, I, I apologize for the stream. Yeah, um, in the last 15 minutes, it seems to be okay. Parang dinas na cut out. And again, I, I don't know why. Um, I might need to replace the router. Napansin ko na nangyari lang to when I traded to the Ubiquiti Dream Machine. I might need to go back to the Asus one that I highly reviewed before. Um, but anyway, that, that's more for the technical guys. Um, we do a lot of technical <laughs> technical shows because we're hardware sugar. Um, but it's super annoying when it cuts out. But um. But I will upload this as a full video because I started recording. Um, that was the backup plan. And um, anybody who uh, is interested in game design or you know um, the local game industry, uh, I'm sure this will be a super useful resource. Um, yeah, and IDX Addict says that he'll watch it later. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so for everybody who stuck it out, thanks for watching. Thanks to Danny and John for joining us. And um, stay safe. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.